This is an overview of the overlay carousel by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag the overlay carousel in one of your elements or columns. This carousel consists of slides. Each slide has an overlay. The overlay has a background color, a border, title, description, and a call to action button with a link. You can also adjust the arrows and the bullets down here. And I'm going to take you over all of the settings. So the first setting is for the margin. You can make the margin bigger or smaller depending on your design. This is the margin between the slides. You can decide if you're, you want your carousel to loop or not and if to autoplay or not. So for example, I turned off autoplay right now and now it will play only if you use the navigation buttons. You can determine how many slides you want to show per screen resolution. So play around with that. Transition speed is for the speed, how long it takes once you click on a navigation button or it occurs automatically. Autoplay interval is for the interval between each autoplay. That's when autoplay is on. Inside of here, the items. So each item has a title, a description, some button text, a link, and you can replace the image to any image you want. It will adapt automatically. You don't need to crop anything. Everything happens automatically. Of course, this is an element or item list. You can delete, duplicate, and add new items. Inside of the style tab, over here, we have an option for the overlay padding. So first of all, to show the overlay right now, since we're demonstrating this, I'm going to change the overlay opacity to one. And instead of making it one on the hover, I'm going to change it to zero on the hover. So now it's actually uh, working in the reverse way. So once, once you hover over something, it will uh, dissolve the overlay. So overlay padding, let's play around with this, see what it does. You can see that it pushes the content border inside. Image height, so you can determine any height you want for your carousel. Overlay color. If you want a different color, right now it's a transparent black, but for example, I'm gonna change it to a transparent white, or you can do that with any color you want, depending on your design. You can also decide for it not to be transparent at all, which also looks awesome. Let's turn that back to the transparent black, which I think looks best. And we already talked about overlay opacity and overlay opacity on hover. Content box is for the box inside of here. So you can also determine the padding for that. Awesome. And you can change the border style around each one of these. So for example, I changed it to dashed. You can make the border width even bigger and change the color of the border. Awesome. For the title, you have title spacing to move the title, title color, title to typography, text is for the spacing between the title and the text, and of course, color and typography. Over here in the button, we have all the different button settings, for example, making this rounded, and you can also change the, all the colors if you want. Button spacing is to push down the button, and we can decide also not to show the button at all. So I can turn on and off the button. Sometimes we don't want these to be called to action and we want them just to be for uh, content, showing content. For example, if you have a restaurant and you want to show the different uh, meals that you have in your restaurant, so you can do that. And uh, let's jump up over here and change the color of the content box to white because it's a bit annoying, red. And let's jump into dot navigation. Dot navigation is the dots down here. You can change the dot color and the active color. We can play around with the size so I can make them a bit bigger and choose to space them from the carousel itself. 
Also, you can change the spacing between the dots. You can align the dots differently if you'd like. And the arrows are over here. For the arrows, there's arrow spacing. So right now it's minus 90s. You see the column ends over here. So it's going outside of the column. The reason it's going outside of the column is because it's minus 90. If we'll change that to zero, it will go back inside and you can push it outside or inside. So outside will be minus, a minus value and um, inside will be a plus value. You can play around uh, with the arrow position. So if you want to move them further down, you can do that as well. Let's round them with the radius and we can play around with the size. So I'm gonna make them a lot smaller. Let's change the icon size as well it's for the icon inside. And I'm going to push this a little bit more to the center. So just let, let's put it on the middle of the border just so that looks good and push down the position a little bit just to center this vertically and this looks pretty awesome cool so we went over all the settings i hope you found this helpful and i'm going to see you in the next video